Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a six box break of 2023 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. A lot of nice stuff here. This is Pick Your Team 6, second half of the case that somebody popped open. Maybe, maybe Jason Jaspi at some point. Either way, big thanks to everybody here for getting your teams straight up. I appreciate it. Barry, you ended up with last spot mojo before I pulled the remaining teams for that random number block. Thanks, everybody, for making it happen. Appreciate you. And here are the results of that random number block randomizer. It's a serial number break only applying to these teams for Pick Your Team 6. Thank you for getting into that. Oh, you know what? I forgot to upload the video for that. Stand by. Almost there. That's the random number block. Publish. All right, so now, it's, now we're ready. Good luck. Got the sounds of uh, the in-season tournament on the background. Some quarterfinal, quarterfinals matchup. Pelicans in Sacramento. Pelicans are leading 116 to 105. Four minutes left into the fourth. Joe Pizzle is here a little bit earlier. We were talking a little what's going to happen tomorrow. Lakers are hosting the Suns in a quarterfinal matchup. This tournament turned out to be kind of fun. I mean, it adds a little extra spice to these uh, otherwise somewhat meaningless, not meaningless, but I don't know, adds a little spice to the, uh, to like these November, December games. And I think that's that was the intent and that's exactly what is happening. So it's fun. And eventually it could grow to, I'm sure the tournament can grow to have even uh, larger stakes. You know, a more meaningful prize than just cash. By the way, there's going to be a lot of non-numbered cards for this group right here. And that's going to be randomized to one person in that group as a lot. The reason why I mentioned this, you'll see in a second, I think you, you can kind of notice already. First of all, there's a stack of these cards here. There's Bobby Wood Jr., 21 out of 299. Michael C. picked up the... Uh, um, Royals straight up. Padres are a number block team. So this particular one will go to Padres zero. Oh, and this is, this I can put over here. We'll take care of that later. And this artist proof, 35 out of, oh, it is numbered. I thought that might be not numbered. That's gonna be Angels five. That's for Alexander. There you go, Alex. And here's a Luis Severino, 50 out of 99. Michael D with the Yankees. Where does Otani go? <laughs> That's going to be the question every day until he signs, right? So if you're not familiar with the number block, we go by that digit right there. You get 35, 5, 15, 25, 45, 55, 65, et cetera, et cetera. Once again, Alex with that one. Some of these can be actual one of ones too, instead of the reproduction. And then we've got an Oswaldo Cabrera rookie relic, four out of 20. Blue foil kind of looks sharp there. I, I dig that, two color patch. That is once again for Michael and the Yankees. Should be two autographs here now behind Freddy. Freddy is Adrian Beltre. 11 out of 15. Rangers, straight up, picked up by Kenny. There you go.
And then behind Rizzo is a dual relic and autograph, Anthony Rizzo. <laughs> Rizzo revealing a Rizzo, 11 out of 25. Nice one from Michael. Another box. The news on Otani seems to change. I don't think anyone really knows anything, to be honest with you, but everyone's speculating, everyone's guessing, but some people said he's gonna sign before the winter meeting. Some people said it's gonna be during the winter meeting. Some people are now saying it's after the winter meetings. Some people are saying he's gonna be offered $450 million, $500 million. $550 million, the price tag just seems to keep going up. So who knows what's going on? Which what teams are still in? What teams are definitely out? Well, we don't know. Is Max Scherzer, sixty-one. The Rangers might be out. Not sure if they have the money for it. There's you, Darvish, one thirty to two ninety-nine. That'll go to San Diego zero for Josh. I guess the A's are out. They're not really a contending team, allegedly, Shohei Otani. And I don't think, have we ever even heard him say that? There's Corbin Burns, nice. 304 out of 399, two-color dual relic and autograph. Four? Four, the number four. Milwaukee, Milwaukee four, Eric Clicks. There you go, EK. Might be on the trading block. A lot of teams could use a Corbin Burns. There's Bob Gibson and a Alejandro Kirk. Two color quad relic, 24 out of 25. Blue Jays. Uh, Antoinette with that one. Behind Duke Snyder is Jazz Chisholm. 14 out of 299. Richard O with Miami. Nice Adley Rushman, and he reveals a Will Smith relic, 39 out of 50. Another box. See, I don't know what other new, what really significant news there is. I guess White Sox and Mets reportedly finalists for Eric Fetty. That's uh, some breaking news there. Uh, that's some exciting news. No interest in trading Alex Bregman. Another bit of news. Tiger signing AJ Hinch to a long term extension. Cardinals listening to offers on Tyler O'Neill. Brewers re sign Wade Miley. Phillies extend manager Rob Thompson. A couple Korean players go are officially posted. Jackson Churio, 
signs an eight-year extension with the Brew Crew. Braves acquired Kalanick. Dodgers re-signed Joe Kelly. Jim Leland elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. I was at the Baseball Hall of Fame a couple summers ago. Do I remember... Do I remember the manager section? Do they get hats? What hat does Jim Leland wear? If they get a hat, if managers get a hat. What hat do you think he gets? Is he wearing a pirate's hat? That's where he started his career. Marlins hat, he won a World Series with the Marlins. Won a ton of games with the, with the Tigers. Bobby Wood Jr., 102 out of 250 for Michael C. Sandy Alcantara, 207 out of 299 for Richard Oak. Maybe they don't get hats. Only players get hats, maybe. This guy. Some people are saying, oh, not Yandy Diaz. But some people thinking that maybe they, maybe they will trade Yandy Diaz. Maybe Arozarena gets traded. Glass now gets traded. Four out of 25, meaningful material. That is Javier Baez, Detroit. It's going to go to Barry, last ball mojo. Behind Oscar Colas is Max Meyer. 91 out of 199. Nice rookie auto for the fish, Richard O. Just a little bit thicker than usual. We got two hits in here. First off, we got the two color quad relic, 46 out of 75, Jonathan India. It looked like to smell like turpentine, it looked like India ink. I held my nose, I closed my eyes, I took a sip. That is for Justin and the Red Legs. I didn't know if it was day or night. We got a rookie auto, Nolan Jones. 34 out of 299. That will be for Emma and the Rockies. Joe, Joe is asking, do we think we do the hit parade time? Absolutely. I think so. So let's get that final filler knocked out and let's get it get it under our belts. Nice, Josh Young, two color, dual relic and auto. Nice RPA, four out of 15. We're just that certified box away from that break, Joe. Nice, that's Kenny with the Rangers. Four out of 15 right there. I feel like could have been a, he was injured, was out for about a month. I feel like if that didn't happen, I think he would have had some more consideration for uh, for AL Rookie of the Year.
Good luck. Got Darvish, 296 out of 299. That'll be for Allen and Padre, 6. Brandon finding Nemo, 21 out of 150. Kenneth B with the with the Mets, with the Metropolitans. All right, behind Oscar Colas is a quad relic. Shohei Otani, 50 out of 75. If he goes back to the Angels, would that be the biggest letdown <laughs> in recent free agent memory? The X line with the number zero gets the Otani. And Otani signs a two year deal, you know, with an opt out with the Angels. And you're like, oh, all right. So much for that. Here is Jim Tomey. 95 out of 100. Two color dual relic and auto. That's White Sox edition. And that's a number block team. So that goes to Chicago White Sox. Five. That's 95 out of 100. And that'll be for Alex. Alexander with the number five. And then we got a Kodai Senga. 14 out of 35. Piece of the jersey. Kenneth with the Mets. It's always funny when you hear, like in like the comments of, you know, sports articles or something like that. Or I was like, oh, Japanese players, you know, Asian players are always going to want to play West Coast. Not really. Maybe Otani. But we've seen a lot of, a lot of Asian ball players, a lot of Japanese ball players end up in, in New York. 15 out of 25, we got Bobby Dalbeck. Maybe Otani could go east. You know, maybe he's comfortable, he's with the United States, he's been around, been back and forth across the country a number of times. Maybe he's like, I could be in, I imagine if Boston got Otani. That's gonna be uh, Jason with Bobby Dalbeck. And we got Fergie Jenkins, 185 out of 299. That'll be for the Cubs. Cubs, Eric Leal with the Cubbies. A lot of people connecting Otani to the Cubs as well. All right. Two more to go. Coverage on the athletic website has kind of waxed and waned over the over, over the years, but every once in a while they'll they'll still they'll still pump out some pretty unique content. They got a they got a nice uh, they wrote up a nice piece on Otani's agent, which I thought was an interesting window into into you know his world. And I've also been hearing story, and some of you may have seen this already. Also, recall, ooh, redemption. Recall some stories where, where Otani has allegedly, I think this is according to some Japanese source that got a rare interview with him many moons ago, um, that Otani allegedly has a plan. You know, all, all lined up, future career plans, apparently. Pretty confident in his abilities. Wander Franco. That'll go to Richard and the Rays. It's the Darvish. These are all the. Okay. All right. Gunnar Henderson reveals a Matt Chapman. Three out of 50, that's gonna be for 
Antoinette and the Bluebirds. Any guesses on that redemption? Here's an Anthony Rendon, 7 out of 25, quad relic. For the Halos, Angel 7 is going to be for the X-Line. Behind Cedric Mullins is Ryan Mountcastle. I don't think the Orioles will do it, but that, how awesome would that be if the Orioles just popped up and were just like, bang, we're, we'd like to announce the signing of Shohei Otani. To lead this young team in a highly competitive division. 337 out of 399. Uh, Orioles are a number block team. So that goes to Orioles 7, and that's going to be for the X line. There you go, Josh. No guesses on the redemption. I was going to surprise someone with a little break credit if they got it, but quiet in the chat tonight. All right, congratulations, someone. You are due to receive a dual on-card autograph of... M? I? L? Milwaukee. Milwaukee Brewers. Christian Yelich, Robin Yount. And the Brewers are a random number block team. So that goes to Brewers Zero. And that is for the X line. Nice one, Josh. Both of these guys, I feel like, generally are good signers. I feel like their, their autos are usually live in sets. So I wonder who's holding, who's holding it up. Who's holding it up? Why is this a redemption? Who dropped the ball? Yeah, Axline's got the guess. Now, Axline, who do you think's jamming you up on that? Is Yelich. Eyes of the Cardinals. Excellent. Says you heard it here first. I mean, that fits the criteria, right? Because there's talent on the team. You know, they have a, a long standing tradition of winning. You know, and a commitment to winning. Here's out of 50, Bob Gibson. It's going to go to Jason. Jason W. with that one. There's Ronald Acuna Jr., 299. Andrew with the Braves. And a Volpe rookie card for Michael and the Yankees. All right, we've got a Riley Green rookie card. Behind him, a Brian Bale. 26 out of 35, Jason and the Red Sox. And we've got a Craig Biggio autograph. 89 out of 199. Part of the Killer Bees. That's going to be for uh, Jacob. And... And the Astros. Got the Astros straight up.
And behind Fujinami is Garrett Mitchell, 87 out of 99, quad relic. And that's going to be for the Brewers. Brewers are a number block team. So it's going to go to Brewers 7. It'll be for the X line. And the final hit behind the Corbin Carroll rookie card is, is Masataka Yoshida. Dual relic and autograph. Nice. 87 out of 99. Red Sox Jason W. with the Boston Red Sox. Nice way to close out this museum collection break. Nice. And the Corbin Carroll is a non-numbered card, and that's got to go to somebody, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So this will re represent all the non-numbered cards for the random number block group. So one person on that list will get it. So let's go back to the list. Let's get hit the uh, random number block tab. Let's gather everybody's names here. New dice, new list, name on top. After three, we'll get those non-numbered cards for that random number block group. One, two, and three. There you go, Alan. After three times, a little consolation prize for you. You'll get all the non-numbered cards for that group right there, including the Corbin Carroll rookie card. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.